Welcome, my fellow curious souls, to another chilling chapter of the Midnight Chronicles. I am Richard, your guide through the dark and enigmatic tales that South Africa holds within its heart. In this episode, we delve into the haunted whispers of an abandoned hospital that has stood untouched, a haven for restless spirits. This is the story of the hauntings in Kempton Park Hospital. Our story unfolds in 1978 when the hospital was born, a place of healing and solace. Yet in 1996, without warning or explanation, its doors were sealed, leaving behind a shroud of mystery and tales that continue to haunt the present day. The hospital, once bustling with life and hope, now stands as a silent sentinel to forgotten dreams. It is said that the government's decision to close its doors in 1996 left a void, both in structure and in soul a void that refused to be filled or understood. Why was it abandoned? The question lingers like a ghostly echo in the corridors, where the answers remain elusive, hidden in the shadows. Limited utilization and ill-fated location has been whispered as the culprits. But speculation dances with the wind, and the truth eludes our grasp. But it's not just the questions that haunt these forsaken halls. The spirits themselves seem unwilling to depart. Their ethereal presence intertwining with the lives of those who dwell nearby, creating a symphony of the supernatural. Curtains swaying without reason, doors shutting with otherworldly force, and the boundaries between the living and the unknown blur, as these ghosts become more than mere tales. Childlike footprints, wet and cold, create a haunting trail through homes, as if a spectral child seeks a playmate beyond the veil. Neighboring families share their eerie encounters, toys that come to life, children's laughter carried in the wind, abandoned buildings, a breeding ground for the occult, might have unwittingly opened doors to the other side, inviting spirits to walk among us. The hospital itself, the Kempton Park Hospital, closed on a day when joy should have reigned. The day after Christmas in 1996, left behind were the forgotten files of patience, the fading echoes of their pain and hopes. Among the shadows, electronic voices whisper, screams and labored breathing, remnants of the anguish that once filled these corridors. Through the lens, apparitions take form. Human-like spectres lurking in the darkness, testament to the lingering souls bound by an unfinished tale. As our journey through the Midnight Chronicles nears its end, the hospital's fate stands before us, slated for demolition. The undead once tethered to these walls, will soon have nowhere left to linger. The threads of the story are unraveling. The tapestry of spirits and shadows disintegrating as the building crumbles, yet the echoes of the unknown persist, imprinted in the very essence of the land, reminding us that some stories can never truly be erased. As the Midnight Chronicles unfold, remember that even as buildings fall and memories fade, the stories etched in the fabric of time remain.
whispered in the wind, carried in the creaking of doors and glimpsed in the corners of our eyes. Until we meet again, dear listeners, tread carefully into the realm of the unknown. This is Richard, signing off.